Hello, Pisces. I'm still going to be doing my usual uh, first of the month readings as well, but this is just a random, random love message reading that wanted to come out. So we'll see what the cards have to say. I just dyed my hair, so that's why my hands are like this. Bear with me. I want to take things slow and get to know you better. I looked for love in all the wrong places. You come off uninterested and detached. You came on strong and I wasn't ready for it. I'm afraid that you'll never forgive me. I feel like there's been a lack of balance in this connection. Like maybe you came on strong in the past and then you, it's kind of like a push pull. Like maybe you came on strong and then you got to a point where you felt rejected or you kind of maybe were trying to play hard to get. So you kind of became a d detached. Um, I feel like this person does want you, but I just feel like they want more of a, they feel like it was unbalanced, but they also do feel like they, I feel like they regret not just taking this when they had the opportunity to. But they do want to take things slow. There is still that desire. They don't want to move too quickly, though. But they do want this. I'm waiting for you to give a, me a clear opening. I don't know how you feel. I want clarity and certainty before I reach out. I'm being watched. I want to reach out, but there are other people around me. I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you, so I ran away. So I kind of think what happened here is I think that you felt that love that they had for you, and so you kind of just jumped right in. But I feel like mentally you guys weren't on the same page. Does that make sense? So it's almost like you guys were both falling very deeply in love with each other. Um, so I think that you started coming on really strong, but I feel like mentally, like I feel like maybe you're somebody who – uh, one of and it could it could be vice versa it could be there this way and, and you're you know take it how it resonates but I feel like one of you is the type to to kind of be more of a romantic wear their heart on their sleeve and the other is the type where it's like they they are a romantic deep down but they they're not like that early on like it takes them quite a while to get to that point and they're very they're more logical about everything like they they like to kind of take things really slow and and make sure that they made the right choice make sure that you guys have a deep understanding of each other before they express too much emotion so so I mean you guys were on the same page in a way where you bro both were falling deeply in love with each other but just mentally they had things that they wanted to figure out more first like they wanted to make sure it was a good match they wanted to make sure you know, they had all their ducks in, their, in a row. They wanted to make sure they weren't rushing into things. They might have also rushed into things in relationships in the past, and it might not have worked out well for them. So they wanted to have this be more stable. And so I feel like somebody here took that as rejection. And again, it could be vice versa. You could be the logical one, and they could be the more emotional one. And maybe, you know, um, you know, t take it out how it resonates, whatever role you're in here. But yeah, it feels like somebody, it feels like somebody just took that as rejection where they weren't trying to reject you. It's, it's more like they just wanted to go at a slower space. They wanted, it's kind of like I'm getting like Knight of Pentacles energy where, you know, loyal and stable and grounded, they still get to where they're going, but it, it takes them and they make sure they have all their ducks in a row. You know what I mean? They don't, they don't really, they're not really, it, it's not like the fool card. It's, it's not somebody that really dives into things. It's somebody who wants to make sure everything's balanced. Everything's, everything's in order. They might not have been in a place in their life where they were expecting to be with anybody. Um, so they might've been struggling to kind of, uh, to, to process that, to process what that means for their life, to, to make room for this romantic relationship. But I, I feel like somebody here, I feel like, yeah, I feel like somebody just kind of took this as rejection. 
And it also is kind of the other person's fault too, though, if you think about it, because even if they were trying to plan things out and trying to get everything stable, you might not have known that. It might have just been something that they were trying to do behind the scenes. I feel like it might have also been something that they felt like you would have taken it as rejection if they communicated it with you. Like if they said, hey, I want to, you know, I want to get my finances in order, but I do want this. Let's just take it slow. I feel like they maybe thought that you like wouldn't take that the right way or something like that but the love was mutual so I think that's I think that's what happened is I think that you picked up on how much they love you and you assumed that that meant that you know they were ready to do this so I so they do want this they just want it to move more slowly um I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love yeah because it looks like they did run because they were they were afraid of how quickly they were falling in love with you. I can't tell if you're interested. I'm bad at picking up hints. And because I feel like some of you felt rejected. So now it's kind of like, like wounded ego, like your, your feelings are hurt. So it's like somebody's kind of being detached a little bit because they felt rejected. But I think that this just needs to be cleared up. Either you're the one that needs to clear this up with this person. If, if they're the one in the other role or, or they need to clear it up with you, but, but something needs to be discussed here because it's like the love was actually mutual. It looks like somebody felt rejected, but they didn't, I think both sides need to take responsibility here too for this. Um, because I feel like there was a lot of assumptions that were made. Like I said, it's like this person just, they, they, they figured they could figure it all out on their own, but they should have let you in on that. They should have talked to you about that. But at the same time, you also kind of made assumptions where you felt rejected when, when they weren't actually trying to reject you, they were just trying to kind of get their life together. Um, and now I feel like somebody is hurt and somebody is guarded. And so the other person can't tell if, if, you know, they're still interested, but somebody is working hard to remove the obstacles that have been keeping you apart. My life is busy and numb. I feel numb. I'm, I'm running on autopilot. My feelings for you are stronger than I let on. Yeah, this person does have love for you. I do feel like it was mutual. I need to help. I need you to help me understand. I thought I could find clarity on my own, but I can't. I need answers. This person's missing your support. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. I want to fix this, but I'm not sure where to start. I've thought about going on a vacation with you. That could be for some, they might be thinking about fixing it through that. Like they're trying to maybe like a big surprise or something to really, you know, get back in your energy. I'm trapped in, in a stagnant, unhappy situation. I'm drained and distracted. I'm afraid of getting hurt, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith for you. So this person isn't a bad person. This does feel like a good person. It just feels like you guys need to settle these differences. You know what I mean? Like I said, I feel like this person is a romantic deep down, but they're not going to, it's not someone that's going to be that way early on. So you guys are going to have to compromise in the relationship because one of you is the type that's emotional and romantic very early on. And the other is the type that is romantic, but, but, you know, further down the line and they're more logical about things. So it, it could be successful. Like you could have that balance, but there's going to need to be open, honest communication to, you know, find that balance so that people don't get their feelings hurt and feel rejected, you know, and this person needs to learn too to communicate those things that, you know, so that you're not left in the dark and you don't actually realize that they're, they're planning on, you know, making progress with you because they didn't tell you any of this. I don't think I'm intentionally telepathically communicating with you. I'm trying to manifest our reunion. Yeah. This person's aware of the connection here. I am returning. I want to be with you now. There's someone new coming into your life for some of you. Um, I regret letting you go. I never should have left. I'm aware that you're my soulmate or my twin flame. You're the one. I communicate with you through songs and movies. So be on the lookout for, you know, synchronicities, messages through songs, through movies, through TV shows. I'm afraid that you've moved on by now. Yeah, this person's afraid of the time that's gone by, but they do want to fix this. 
they also realize that there's no one like you. They realize they're not going to be able to find a love like yours with somebody else. So I hope this helps you guys. As always, if you'd like a private reading, just send me a message. Um, my email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. That's right below in the description box. Thanks.